So Mikey did tell me that he brought me two NES games. He says one is boxed, no, no, one no, is no, loose. No, no. This one, there are no listings, and this has everything in it. It's he awesome. said it first. It's awesome, my mom. All right, Mikey, time to reveal. It's time to flip the mold and go somewhere we haven't been in a long time. We're going to Santa Fe Springs Swap Meet. Santa Fe Springs is one of those swap meets that I used to go to all the time, and I'm talking every single week. But when my schedule changed, we stopped going, and I haven't been there in like over a year. It's time to go today, and I hear that Mikey as well, yes, we're meeting up with Mikey, should have me some CIB NES games that he wants to sell. Let's get this day going. And we're meeting up with Curtis first, but Kurt, Curtis is getting the pre-morning workout going. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel like this is a- from Mike Tyson. Mike, oh really? <laughs> Jake Paul, is that you? <laughs> More like Jake bounce boobs. No! <laughs> I haven't been to Mikey's office slash my old office in probably over a year. Here we are. What's up, Myra? What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up, dog? I feel like your hoard has gotten more sickening, bro. Uh, yes, it has. And and I forgot to clean up yesterday, so hey, don't judge me, okay? Oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. What is it like for you people to work in Mikey's hoard of collecting? They like it. Wow, dude. They, they might say they hate it, but Oh my gosh, what? I didn't know you got it this crazy, oh, yeah, Mikey. From, from Power World, bro, uh, little bootleg. Look, actually, I wanted to show you guys a few new bootlegs that I have, man. Let me, let me show you some bootlegs right now. So Mikey did tell me that he brought me two NES games. He says one is boxed, no, no, one no, no, is no, no. loose. This, this is more important, right? Some bootleg grills right here. All the way oh. from Australia, dude. From Australia, not even China. Wow, so you have Mario, Luigi, Luigi, and Mario. So this is Mario, <laughs> freaking Wario, Luigi, and Waluigi. Yeah, where it's supposed to be, even though they have the wrong letters, like Wario has the M on his hat, you know what I'm saying? But look, this is not the important thing. I, I want to show you this because, you know, <laughs> like Funko doesn't have a Nintendo license, so that's why it's not so Okay. Good. But remember last time you sent me that little link? Little link I sent you my list, you list from one up of the games I needed. You said you found two, found two. Do you have them both right now? No, I only got one right now. But the other one will come later, okay? Oh, I like it, little clickbait. Bam. Low G, man, the low gravity, the little man. Little low G, man, little low G. Low oh. G, <laughs> low, low G. Some of that shirt, though. You know what's funny is last night I was literally watching Russ Lyman do a live stream of him playing this game. All right, low G man though, aside from watching Russ play it, it is one of those games. And I know people have clowned me in the comments like, did you play everything as a kid? Kind of. I was one of those kids that I kind of played all the games through time. Again, because we grew up poor, so we got all the games later. But Low G Man is kind of a hidden gem. It's called Low Gravity Man. You can jump super high in the game. And it's like an action platformer. But I would say it's a little too hard. And I wouldn't call it like Bucky O'Hare hard or like memorize the game hard. It's more like a little janky hard. So it makes it a little bit more uh, less enjoyable, but you can get some tanks, you can get some power-ups, you can do uh, enough things to make it interesting, but not enough things to make you want to keep playing it. But this, I will take Mikey and I'll buy it off you for price charting. All right, there we are. Low G-Man NES, add to the NES Pursuit. <gasps> Ooh. How many games we got now, Mikey? All right, so this game puts them at 357. Well, it feels good to get an NES game right off the rip, right when the video starts. But with that said, now it's time to actually go hunt at that swap meet that we haven't been to in over a year. I'm hoping it's good. It always hasn't been the most successful, but I guarantee you, we can find some good stuff. Yeah, First go thing I found is this Monopoly Gamer, but I don't know. I don't really have any desire to pick this up. It just was cool because it was Nintendo. I probably should point out for all of you guys too, is this swap meet is so much less curated than the one we normally go to. I know the other one everyone says is like a holy grail gold mine, which it is. This one's more just like random. So you got to really dig at this one. 
What'd you find, Curdy? El Hefe. What'd you find? Let's see. Bro, bro, bro. Bart with a mustache. Oh, wait, <laughs> what the freak? Yeah. Gotta do it. I don't know. This is kind of like. Oh, that's a good one, dude. I think so. That's actually a good one. Hopefully, uh, we can get his buttons to go plop back down. That's actually a good one. Then right we there. got banger tab. All for 20 bucks. Too. That's actually fire. Is that Studio Store? Yeah. Large. That is Studio that's a good Store. Size. That's a good one, dude. All embroidered. I like it, bro. Just found another Mario, but look, that stuff is really sticky. It's Ew. not something I'm willing to try to get off. An NES game from a mile away. Let's see. I think I have TNC Surf. Dang it, Curtis, I think I have this. I think I have TNC Surf already. I have to look, actually. Do I have this? I probably have this. Let's see this, though. I just found this at the same booth. Let's see. Classic. Always empty. I got it, Mikey. I got it. Deadly Towers and Breakthrough 2 that I didn't have on the count. I feel I can't believe that booth had so much of that stuff because I feel like at a place like this, I don't find as much stuff normally. Wait, because we came early today. We did come early. <laughs> so Deadly Towers and Breakthrough. Let me uh, let me talk about these a little bit. Two more on the list. Deadly Towers is like a the most janky looking, almost looks like it'd be an RPG, but it's like a side-scrolling, dungeon crawling, almost like a, a Marble Madness isometric on some of the levels. It's boo-boo overall. Uh, it's by Broderbun, which does make good games, but when you shoot, look at some gameplay, it's like the sword that you shoot kind of comes out of your wiener. I'm just gonna be 100% honest. And then, <laughs> Breakthrough. Not enough people talk about Breakthrough. It's like bump and jump mixed with a side-scrolling shooter. It's fast. I gotta admit, it's kind of hard, some of the traversing, because you can jump. So this is two more added to the count. I gotta see how many that makes that. It's, it puts this 359, I think? Stop knowing things. I'd probably run. And Mikey was right. These two games put me at 359 freaking NES games on the games. count. What was that? Let me see this. It's like a little diary. A little diary? Well, hold on, though. It's by Culturefly. Have it they written it? Somebody already. Oh, no. They already wrote in it. Oh. It belongs to Aaliyah. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. Oh, Aaliyah. oh we found a book for Curtis's mom was using last time I saw her. That's right. That's right. Skilled lady. <laughs> he said it first. He it's said it first. Also my mom. Let's go. Hey, I'm picking this up for three bucks, bro. This, oh, is, this is actually low-key super sick. A Tom and Jerry sweater for three bucks? I'm in. Mikey, what are the odds of me making it from one hand down here? I'm probably a good Zero. 10 feet. Oh, really? God. Just about why? Oh. <laughs> Is that Larry Bird? <laughs> oh, hello, Curtis. Curtis getting dirty down here. PS3, some decent, no, not PS3 games. Decent PS2 games, though. Over here, Kingdom Hearts, Lord of Rings, Battlefront, God of War, more Kingdom Hearts. Let's see if I can get both of these. Yeah, see what you can, see what I'll do on some of them. I just want these two. Yeah, nothing too crazy, but, oh, that's nice. And then a Wii Wii. What is that? Bro, you know Beast, right? From Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Oh him, my! Look at how he looks under everything. Maybe that's why they left him. My God! Poor guy's hungry, dude. I haven't ate in years. <laughs> Do a remake, please. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's a diecast metal replica of Woody Woodpecker from Universal by Revel. Nineteen ninety-seven. Like a... And it's a ninety-seven. Is it's that a car, a... though? All right, I feel like I want to actually. Oh, and it's uh, there's a certain number on them too. Okay, these I might actually want to pick up. They were just a little bit more expensive than I was thinking. Gosh dang it. I mean, notice this. Nope, listen to that. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Cool, but not for me. In honor of our good friend Jason Griffith, by the way, which who will be at SoCal Gaming Expo, he's the voice of Sonic and Shadow, so you need to go have him sign I'm those, gonna bro. I'm going to sign it right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, Shadow, why do you want to go to Mexico so bad? I just love Latinas, Sonic. <laughs> what? Adios, amigo. Whoa, there he goes. All the way across the border. <laughs> Adios! Also, this is your last chance to get tickets to SoCal Gaming Expo. At the time of this video dropping, the expo is in two days. It's going to be absolutely insane. Go check out everything on our pages socal gaming expo 2024 it's happening this is it i'm telling you right now if you're not buying tickets right now socal retro gaming expo dot com your mistake the whole community be talking about it and you'll Just ticket, please <laughs> more cars more cars but also a little super mario in the box i'll check it what's that one 
Oh, it's a coming to America shirt. Zabumafu? <laughs> Zabumafu? What does that say? I couldn't read that. Zabumafu. You ever watch Zabumafu? Let's, let's just go with Zabumafu. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I'll ask on this guy in a sec. They said they do $2 on this. Sorry, I know the camera works not too good. We've been kind of moving fast the past few booths and haven't even showed you. I did pick up NES game along with something else really cool. All right. So last couple booths. So I did get the Mario thing for only 10 bucks. I think she had 20 on it too and she immediately went down to 10. Then the Darkwing Duck, this caught my eye big time. I love myself some Darkwing Duck. Uh, this is like a $15 VHS, got it for two bucks. Uh, Curtis kind of noticed it, obviously it's anime, anything like old school anime is gonna do great. And then, Flying Dragon on the NES by Culture Brain. Now I was just playing this the other day and funny enough, this is one of those games where the AI, the AI is so bad, the enemies just like walk off the cliff, they don't have any sort of like intelligence. It's like the definition of dumb AI. So uh, is it worth playing? Definitely not, but it's worth to pick up for the collection. What did I pay for it? You stole it from me, I don't know. That's right, I stole it from the lady. Sorry lady, get waxed. My friends, my friends, 360 NES games on the count. As much fun as I'm having here, which I am having fun, my brain keeps thinking about what NES game Mikey brought me CIB. Now CIB NES game could be taking it from being a $5 game to an $80 game, or it could be a game I care nothing about, or a game that I just need. No matter what, Mikey keeps saying it's a game I need, so no matter what, I'm excited, but I still gotta keep hunting. All right, quick round of bocce ball, Mikey, for us. This is gonna be your your ball that you throw. Have you ever played bo bocce ball? It's a very white person sport. What? What's it called? Bocce ball. Bocce ball. I'm gonna throw this and wherever it lands, watch this, watch, ready? Yeah. I sure love buying a lot of different things on this show, but one thing I've never done, I've never been able to be comfortable in buying things abroad until now. Today I'm gonna tell you about something that has totally improved the way I collect. Like you, I always thought about buying a package from abroad, but I've never had the courage. Trusting a direct seller, shipping processes and costs have always irritated me. As if this wasn't enough, I always saw the products I was looking for in marketplaces in different countries, but the sellers did not offer the option of shipping abroad. This has always kind of bothered me. That is until now. I would like to introduce you to Shippin. It is very easy and convenient to bring products from 35 countries abroad with Shippin. Moreover, they do not work like an ordinary cargo company. Your specially assigned host sends you photos of your products in advance. If you want, you can consolidate the products of even more than one seller and buy them in one package. And it is very, very fast. I didn't think it was possible until I tried it myself. It's actually super cool because I've been doing this for so long, but I never really get to browse like all over different areas and all different regions to see different stuff and kind of do it with, with confidence. A lot of times when you look at stuff like this in your brain, you're like, I don't feel super confident buying from outside the country, whatever places like that. So Shippen, super helpful with this. Make sure to click the link down below to get 15% off with your discount promo code PIXELGAME15. So I'm gonna throw it. It landed right there. I'm gonna go show the camera. Look right here. This is it. This is it. Come here. Right here. So we go back to where we are and we both throw it. Whoever lands closer to it gets five bucks. <laughs> Bro, Shit. say no more. Say no more. All right, Mikey, you're up first. Bro, this is easy money. I would do it behind the back. You gotta do underhand, by the way. Underhand? That's how it works, bro. I go like this. No, no, bro, you gotta go full white. All right, full white. Here you go. Let me do my calculations. Oh my god, that was too hard. Okay, so there's the ball, the bocce, and there's Mikey's down there. All right, let's go. Oh! Mine's still closer. Bro, it's still close. Ready? One. Two, here's this. Uh, One, two, three, four, bro. five, six. This is your seven, sport, though. Eight, this nine. is your sport that you guys made up because you guys lost everything else. This is the other sport I play. Oh, hey, baby girl. <laughs> Security, don't take us out, please. <laughs> What? What you find right now? Bro, Tomb Raider collectible cards, bro. And there's there's more right here too. Look at this. They got the whole set. Do they got the shiny? That's actually still cool. I don't think these are worth that much, but they're still super cool. Oh, this one's wet on the back. Yeah, it probably has like the same like the same art as like the game. Okay. Wow, super cool. Curtis just found a literally the dumbest game of all time that I Oh wait, this is the junior? I think I have junior. You didn't say junior, you just said game tech. Dang what? it. I have this one. I Dang know. it, Curtis. You got me so excited. Okay, I'm getting all of these. I'll show you guys in a moment. Pretty stoked, actually. No way. I just got Deadly Towers at earlier. That's crazy. There's another one here. RC Pro I have, Gyro might have. Anticipation, I don't know, but it's too beat up. And I definitely have multiple copies of Double Dribble. Uh, Amagon, again, I don't know if I have it, but if I did, I'm not going to pick it up in this condition regardless. There is a... 
Hardball 2 and then some Genesis right here as well. So I might have to take a peek. Chris, stop! I already bought out the booth. What happened? I know, I already looked. Have you ever played 21, uh, 20 questions? Nope. This is like the original AI. Like you literally are thinking of something and you answer every question, it'll it'll pretty much get it right. I don't believe you. No, I promise. That's satanic, we gotta bro. We got to test out later. Satanic, bro. We got we to test satanic. out Satanic. Look at all this. I would like bulk buy some of this if he, they do them for good prices. They probably got... Oh, nice. You got the dead stock vintage? Yeah, 2000, right? 2000, dude. 2000 Sailor. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Super Smashed Bros. I'll take three of those. Relax, Mario. So I didn't point this out earlier. Curtis and I did get, look, I got this right here, the Final Fantasy, um, the Turox, and these, and guess how much these were? I mean, they're not like crazy expensive, but sealed, all this was $2 each. That's like stupid good prices. This booth started out looking kind of cool. Lately, I've been really checking into big box PC. Ooh, this one might be one to check out right here, Curtis. The thing, anything like, Big box or horror, maybe even the Sphere 2, might be one worth uh, scanning and checking out. So I, I saw he had some NES games up there too, so I'm gonna go look at those in a sec. But I just wanted to get a, a peek at these first. This is why I collect this way. I'm gonna show you guys something. This is a reminder of why I collect this very specific way. Sorry, I was distracted by this thing. I wonder how many people have climbed up this mic. No, nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna, I, I could keep going, but I'm more worried about my shoes failing. Oh, bro, my knees would have just like ripped apart bro, I right got there. Good knees, look at that. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, see, I would have been stuck right there and my shorts would have ripped. Why am I so weird? Check this out, people. I gotta show you. So this is why the NES Pursuit this time around is so successful because I'm not spending money. I don't know how many more times to say it. Say what you want about Phoenix Resale, he's taught me well. So they had Two, well actually they had like six NES games, but two that weren't on my collection. Muppet Adventure, which by the way, super clean label, which it's like a mini game type of game. It's really weird, there's a ton of weird mini games. Then Wrath of the Black Manta, a major childhood favorite, kind of like Shinobi, but the sprites are bigger. Also Jared, you gotta show the first screen. The guy's like standing like this or something, like on the intro screen, something like this. Looks like almost like a 90s rap cover. But from the same booth, I got stuff to flip. And look, these bigger PC games you gotta look at. This is like a $55 game or so. I know nothing about these. This one had the Sega branding. This one's sealed. But this one, there are no listings. And this has everything in it. Alien Invasion. There is not one listing under $100 for this. One of them at $279 in good condition. Again, that's not sold, but that's how you freaking collect because I sell this and everything's free. My entire NES set is free. So there's no better way to do it, but Mikey, I still want to know what you got me. What game is it? What game did you give me CIV, bro? I have it in the car. <laughs> I have it in the car. Oh, God, you got me good. <laughs> yeah. So those NES games put me at 362 NES games. I couldn't be happier. This is a literal, literal dream come true I'm living. So after that amazing day at the SWAT, I mean, adding more games to the NES Pursuit, I still gotta go back. This is the time. Let's see what Mikey has for me. All right, Mikey's had it behind his back where I can't see it. All right, Mikey, it's time to reveal. Bro, the, you ready? And, and you're sure I don't have it? You, I, yes, okay. I'm positive because uh, it was on the list. Okay. So, uh, you ready? Yep, let's go. Oh, Treasure Master. Treasure Master. Let me see. Can I see how clean this is, Curtis? Do you mind popping this open for me? This kind of Loki look, look, looks like Curtis right there. I want to do the thing. It, it kind of, it kind Don't of stay away. Do it, brother. <laughs> no. I don't even know what that is, and they're like, it's trendy. I'm like, get out of here. Got one cool of people locks. are doing it. No. It's got one of those locks on. Okay, them. Curtis is struggling over yeah, here, but sorry, I, I I'll, put that I'll tell you my thoughts then for now while we wait. So, I'm Treasure Master, I've actually talked about in a video before, Mikey, this, this game, like in an actual video talking about good oh, games. Perfect. So, the music. Tim Fallen, you can recognize it from a mile away. It's Tim Fallen, crazy music, beautiful. But the gameplay itself, Jared will be playing you some gameplay, is awesome. The way your guy walks is like a pimp, dude. He does a pimp walk the whole time. Mikey, he literally walks like this. <laughs> and he has his hat flipped up like this. Uses a lot of different um, ways to go. You can go down in the level. When you play it like a side scrolling game, you can go down and go underwater. And when you jump super high, you go into like a level above, like some of the Dragon Ball games. Let's see. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my gosh, Mikey, my it's boy. Like Bro, the condition. Holy cow, dude. Such a good game, I'm telling you guys. This is a game you gotta pop in, you gotta play. If you haven't played Treasure Master, you are doing yourself a major disservice. <laughs> All right, so I had to look it up to see. I, I haven't hit add to, add to a list yet because I don't know Mikey. So complete, it goes for about $79. What do you want to sell it for? Whatever you say, I'm going to say yes to as long as it's obviously nothing above $80. 150, oh, wait, oh, what? Dang. <laughs> okay, let's do $60 just because you're my boy, you know? So, Mikey, you know what then? Because of that generous deed, will you go ahead and add to list for me? Do the, do the, get it? There you go, oh, brother. Yeah. Now hit add to selected list. Here you go, brother. Mikey, now I need you to say, I hate you, by the way. This puts us at, and that number, Mikey. 363. Oh, Shimana, Moana, make way. Get your tickets, SoCal. Get your tickets, please. Get your tickets to SoCal. What are you doing not doing it, huh? Yeah. Boy, what's you doing not doing it? Uh-oh. I had so much freaking fun today. I haven't got to hang out with Mikey in a while. I always forget that Mikey's just like a ball of energy and when we're around each other, maybe even a little annoying with us together because we're both just extreme together. But with that said, I wanna let you guys hear this Treasure Master straight up from the TV, what it sounds like to boot this freaking game up. It's too beautiful. It's too beautiful not to, to go and show. Also got to give a massive shout out to the place I go to every day, Bonsai Bowls. Uh, this is where I break my fast every day. If you guys don't know, I intermittent fast uh, pretty much every single day of my life. And I always break my fast with a big giant fruit ball, fruit bowl called a Bonsai Bowl with acai and all that. I'll actually show you. So here it is. Also, the employees here are like the coolest guys ever watch. They don't even know I'm filming. Watch how nice these guys are. Let's see. What's up, dog? Oh, yeah. What's up? This is the boys right here. Bonsai Bowls, Costa Mesa. So here's my daily right here. What do you think I come in four to five days a week? Is that pretty, sound about right? Four to five days. Look at this, y'all. This is what I eat every day of my freaking life. Beautiful. What's the magic sauce in here? What makes this taste amazing? Or is it a secret? I think it's a secret from now on. Ooh, secret? I'd say it's the acai. You know, we got some pretty good frozen strawberries, I'd say. But, Let's go. Uh, you know, Time to go to eat this and play some video games. We got a clutch of frog dog statefish. Woo! -hoo -hoo, yes, thank sir. you, boys. You know what, like, my favorite thing is, too, about those guys? There's a couple of other dudes, too, I talk to every day, but they're all young. They're, like, early 20s, not even 20, some of them. And they're just, like, the nicest, happiest dudes. Like, great customer service. They treat you like a brother, so... Huge shout out, Bonsai Bowls in Costa Mesa. Go say hi. I actually ran into uh, someone who watched the show one time in there. It was pretty funny. Also, I'm aware that, yeah, fruit, this much fruit has a lot of sugar in it, but it's natural fruit, right? This is this is God sugar is the way I put it. But for me, this is always my, my prime way of getting into eating for the day. All right, time to pull this puppy out. By the way, my gosh, the wall looks so nice alphabetized. But the only bad news is now I got to alphabetize these ones. So when you get the new ones, you kind of got to reshuffle. So maybe I won't alphabetize these ones until like a month, until I get like a good... I don't know however many more I get in a month, a hundred games maybe, and then reshuffle again to reorganize. But let's pop this puppy in. The real question is, will we get this on first try? Come on, baby. Be good, be a clean copy, be a clean copy, be a clean copy. Oh, let's go. Let's make sure the music's nice and loud so you guys can hear this. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll hold the camera right here so you guys can kind of hear it as it comes in. Watch how Tim Fallen this is, guys. Watch how Tim Fallen this music is. It couldn't be more Tim Fallen-y. All right, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. Y'all, listen to that Tim Fallen music right there. Ah, see, if you know Tim Fallen, you know the music. Now, what I want to show you guys is what I was saying, you can go up, right? Now I got boots, you can go down screens, as I was saying, and you can even go down in water, which is normally a trap in video games, but look at that. Also, I'm gonna be playing with one hand, so don't judge my my death here that I'm gonna be going in. But let me show you that pimp walk, too, I was talking about. We gotta see that E-I-R-L. Look at this pimp walk. Sheesh! 
<laughs> My boy strutting. By the way, those boots I got is a little kick. So there you go. With that, guys, I'm going to keep playing this for a little... I'll probably try to get pretty far in this game, actually. I have a little bit of free time on my hands right now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day. Make it a great day. I can't, I can't stress it enough that, you know, do your best in your power every day to forcibly give yourself the best that you can. Bless other people. Bless people around you. Be kind to others. All that stuff is going to play into a part of just making your day better. Uh, do things that make you smile. Do things that make others smile. I'm telling you guys... Uh, you have so much power in making sure that your day is a fantastic day, even on those days when I know it's the hardest. I, I have been in those rough spots more times than I can count and bless, thank you, Lord, bless the Lord Almighty, I'm in a good place. But no matter what, you have that decision, make it a good day. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. I mean, I'm, I'm living, I'm living my dream life right now. Thank you so much. <laughs>